Today's notes are on using formulas in geometry. The table at the top should be review as far as the area of a triangle, parallelogram, rectangle, square, and trapezoid. You may have seen for a triangle instead of one half base times height, you may have seen base times height over two, which is exactly the same as one half base times height, just written differently, as well as for a trapezoid, base one plus base two times the height all over two. So today we're going to be um, learning about how to find the area of a regular polygon. Remember with a regular polygon, all angles and all sides are congruent. So within the table, it says the center of a regular polygon. So here I have uh, a polygon drawn with a circle connecting each vertice. So this center of the pentagon got uh, three, four, five sides, is equidistant from each of the vertices. So that means the distance from here to here is the same as from here to here, from to this vertice. So we have five vertices, so five segments, all congruent in, or equal in measure. The distance from the center to a side so from the center to a side of the polygon, which again, when we look at distance, it's the measurement that's perpendicular. That is called the apothem. The apothem ends up being the altitude of this triangle right here. And a triangle that has two sides congruent is called an isosceles triangle. The central angle of a regular polygon, so any angle here within the center, is equal to 360 divided by the number of sides it has, so divided by n. And the number of sides on the polygon is equal to the number of triangles within the polygon. When you draw the triangles, Again, draw each of the segments from the center to each vertice, not from one of your vertices, but making the triangles from the center, the number of sides is equal to the number of triangles, which is also the same as the number of arcs that you have within the circle. And an arc goes from one vertice to the next consecutively. So this is an arc. This right here is a central angle. This arrow right here to this side ends up being the radius of the circle as well. And once again, this segment drawn from the center to a side is the apothem. So because the number, or the central angle's measure is equal to 360 divided by n, the measure of the arc intercepted by the central angle is equal to the measure of the central angle. So just to explain this off to the side, in this circle, if this angle measure is 80 degrees, then this arc from here to here is also 80 degrees. So to calculate the area of any regular n-gon, where n is the number of sides, we can use triangles. So if we break this polygon up into triangles, again, from the center, draw a segment to each of the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I must have had seven sides, so we have a heptagon. I can't just find the area of one triangle. So to find the area of a triangle, which is base times height over two, I need the height. And the height is drawn perpendicular. In a polygon that's regular, this is called the apothem. So I'm going to put an A there. 
I need the height in the base, and the base ends up being one of the sides of my regular polygon, so it doesn't matter which apothem you use or which side you use because all the sides are congruent as well as any of the apothems that you draw. So the area of one triangle is one half base times height, or in this case, one half the apothem times the side. The area of a regular polygon is going to be the area of one triangle, which is one half A times S, times the number of triangles that it has. Now to find perimeter of any regular polygon, we simply add up all the sides. And if they're all the same, we can use multiplication. So it's the number of sides times the side length. So perimeter is equal to N times S. Well, n times s, I can replace in the formula for the area of regular polygon with p. So the formula if for any regular polygon, the whole polygon, is one-half perimeter times the apothem, or one-half the apothem times the perimeter. So looking at question number one, we have to find the perimeter and area of, should be of, the regular pentagon. So five sides that start with perimeter. The side length is 2.2, so perimeter is 5 times 2.2, which is 11. So then the area is 1 half perimeter, so 11 times the apothem, which is 1.5. 1 half of 11 is 5.5, and 5.5 times 1 and a half is eight and a quarter. So my perimeter is 11 centimeters, and the area is eight and a quarter centimeters squared. You can use this formula, but you can also feel free, again, to break it up into triangles. We have one, two, three, four, five. So area of one, would be one-half base of 2.2 times the height 1.5. And then you simply take that answer and multiply it by the five triangles. And you'll see that one-half of 1 1.5 times 2.2 times 5, we see the product of 5 times 2.2, that's the perimeter. And then here's the apothem. So this together gives you the perimeter, and then there's the apothem, there's the one-half perimeter times apothem. On the back, we're not going to do this question, but I do want to talk about the perimeter. To find any perimeter of a polygon in the coordinate plane, you have to make note of all your coordinates and use the distance formula, which is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. I want you to think about the area. So how do I find the area of triangle ABC? Again, in order to find area, you need the base and the height. But the height needs to be drawn perpendicular to the base, and I don't have that here. So how do I find the area of a triangle in the coordinate plane where I don't have a base and height that are perpendicular. We don't have that in this picture. So I want you to think about that. You can go ahead and find the perimeter, write down all your coordinates for A, B, and C, and use the distance formula, and then you simply just add up all the sides.